Both ProtonMail and Tutanota promise encrypted email, no tracking, and open source credibility. But which one actually walks the talk? And which one just looks secure? At first glance, you might think they're pretty much the same, but under the hood, there are some critical differences. One of them quietly does something the other can't, and that might just change which one you choose. In this video, I'll compare Proton Mail and Tutanota across four key areas privacy, features, and usability price, and transparency. By the end of this video, you'll know which one truly fits your priorities, and I'd love to hear where you land in the comments. And by the way, I have added discounted links to both products in the description section. You can use these to get up to 40% off. Let's get started. All right, let's meet the contenders. First up, Proton Mail, the brainchild of CERN scientists who figured, hey, if we can build the Large Hadron Collider, we can build a secure inbox too. Proton Mail is based in Switzerland, where privacy is a constitutional right. It's the gold standard for end-to-end -end encryption, and it's part of a whole suite. Proton Calendar, Proton Drive, Proton VPN, and even Proton Pass. And in the other corner, Tuta, formerly known as Tutanota, was built in Germany with a laser focus on encryption. Open source, super lightweight, and kinda hardcore. They even encrypt you a bit more than what Proton encrypts. So, on paper? Both are privacy-first, end-to-end encrypted, zero-tracker email providers. But in practice, their vibes are kinda different. Proton feels more like a polished Apple product. It's secure, yes, but also premium, bundled, and a bit commercial. Tuda is like a community-built Linux distro, open and fiercely independent. But is independent really better? We will find out soon. So now let's talk about what makes our contenders different and why some people are even eyeing them as alternatives to services like Gmail. Because when it comes to these two, it's all about one thing, privacy. Let's start with Proton Mail. This one's got a serious reputation. I'm talking full end-to-end -end encryption, which means the content of your emails is encrypted on your device and decrypted only on the recipient's end. No middleman access. Not even Proton can read your emails. As I said earlier, Proton operates under Switzerland's ultra-strict privacy laws. That's a big deal. They're outside the EU, outside the Five Eyes Alliance, and their legal framework makes it extremely difficult for third parties, including governments, to compel them to hand over user data. But it's not just about laws, it's about design. Proton uses something called zero-access architecture, which means even if they're served a court order, they still can't decrypt your emails. They literally don't hold the keys. They also block trackers, strip out sneaky pixels in marketing emails, and even proxy images so advertisers can't trace you, so your IP address is hidden and your inbox stays clean. And if you're the trust but verify type, all of Proton's apps, web, iOS, and Android, are open source, so anyone can head over to GitHub and audit the code to make sure there's no funny business happening behind the scenes. Now let's talk about Tuda, which, spoiler alert, is no slouch either. In fact, they go deeper in a few areas, most notably the fact that they encrypt your subject lines. That's right, even the title of your email is scrambled. Proton Mail doesn't do that, at least not yet. They also encrypt your calendar entries, just like Proton, but they take a slightly different approach to the tech stack. Instead of using PGP or Pretty Good Privacy, which is a well-known encryption standard that's been around since the 90s and is great for securing the content of emails, Tuda built their own encryption protocol from scratch. Why? Because while PGP is widely accepted, it's a bit outdated. It doesn't support perfect forward secrecy and can't easily encrypt metadata like subjects or timestamps, which are often just as revealing as the content itself. Tuda is proudly German, and Germany, while inside the EU and the 14 Eyes Alliance, has pretty strong privacy protections under the GDPR. It's not as ironclad as Switzerland, but it's definitely no Wild West either. This one is tight. Both Proton and Tuda bring serious privacy muscle. Proton does well on jurisdiction and ecosystem, but Tuda goes harder on encryption, giving this round to Tuda. Now let's talk about what it's like to actually use these platforms every day. Because let's face it, no matter how secure something is, if it's a nightmare to navigate, you're not going to stick with it. Proton Mail has definitely matured. The interface is sleek, smooth, and modern. You get all the basics you'd expect, folders, labels, filters, and a few privacy-first extras like encrypted contacts and calendar. Plus, they've got native apps for iOS and Android, a polished web interface, and even a desktop integration via Proton MailBridge, which lets you use your encrypted Proton account with standard email clients like Outlook and Thunderbird. That's huge for business users. And if you're in their ecosystem, it's seamless. Check your email, hop into Proton Calendar, open an encrypted file on Proton Drive, or browse privately with Proton VPN, all with one login. It's kind of like the Apple of privacy platforms. Tuta, on the other hand, takes a more minimalist approach. The interface is clean and lightweight, 
but it does feel a bit more bare bones compared to Proton. There's no Proton style ecosystem, but Tuda covers the essentials really well. Encrypted emails, an encrypted calendar, and strong support for aliases and custom domains on paid plans. Tuda also offers a desktop client, which is nice, but there's no bridge equivalent. Tuda's approach of using their own protocol means a few trade offs. It's not compatible with external PGP clients, so you can't use Thunderbird or Outlook in the same way you can with Proton via Proton Bridge. Where it shines is simplicity. There are fewer distractions, fewer pop ups, fewer buttons. Just email. For people who want exactly that, it's a dream come true. Both services offer search, but here's where Tuda's approach can actually be an edge. Since they control the whole encryption stack, they've built an encrypted search that lets you find content inside your emails while keeping it secure. Proton's search only works on headers or locally downloaded messages. Proton's apps feel slightly more polished. Tuda's gets the job done, but it's a bit slower with fewer customization options. Still, both apps are clean and tracker-free. So, if you're after polish, integrations, and flexibility, Proton takes the cake here. It just feels more grown up, especially for people coming from services like Gmail or Outlook. Next, let's talk money. And this is where things get interesting because free isn't always free and cheap doesn't always mean better. Proton Mail's free tier gives you one gigabyte of storage for one email address and limited folders and labels. It's a solid intro, but if you're serious about privacy or need more space, you'll need to pay. Now, once you upgrade to Mail Plus, which runs about $4 per month, you unlock 15 gigabytes of storage, custom domains, email aliases, filters, and priority support. You can also use Proton Bridge with your favorite mail clients like Outlook or Thunderbird. But Proton's real draw is the Proton Unlimited tier at around $10 per month. That plan gives you 500 gigabytes shared across their entire ecosystem. Email, encrypted cloud storage with Proton Drive, a VPN for anonymous browsing, a secure calendar, and a password manager. You can also save big on your Proton Mail purchase by using the special link in the description. On the flip side, Tuda's free plan is refreshingly generous. You get one gigabyte of storage, one calendar, end-to-end -end encryption, and no trackers. Tuda's pricing is super simple and super affordable. The revolutionary plan is about three euros per month. That gets you 20 gigabytes of encrypted storage, multiple aliases, and custom domain support. Then there's the top tier personal plan, Legend, for about eight euros per month, which bumps you up to 500 gigabytes of storage, gives you more custom domains, more aliases, inbox rules, and more admin tools. They don't bundle a VPN or cloud storage or password manager, but that's not what they're trying to be. Tuda is lean, it's focused. You're paying for secure, encrypted communication, nothing more, nothing less. So, who wins the pricing round? I'll have to give it to Proton. Proton Mail is selling you a secure Swiss army knife, while Tuda's handing you a single-blade dagger that's pretty sharp, but doesn't cut it as far as value is concerned. All right, we're coming up on the final round. Transparency and trust? Let's talk open source creds, company values, and which service puts its money where its mouth is. When it comes to privacy services, it's not just about what they offer, it's about whether you can actually trust them. That means looking at the company's history, business model, openness, and how well they handle government pressure. Proton AG is based in Switzerland and publishes an annual transparency report, laying out how many legal requests they get and how they respond. Their stance? If it's not encrypted and they're legally forced, they'll comply. But if it is encrypted, they can't help, even if they want to. Still, it's worth knowing about the 2021 incident where Proton was ordered by Swiss authorities to log a user's IP address at the request of French police. The user turned out to be a climate activist. It made headlines because Proton had to comply under Swiss law, proving once again that while your emails stay private, your metadata can still be vulnerable. Proton was completely transparent about it, though. They updated their privacy policy and reminded users, if you need true anonymity, use Tor and don't add recovery emails. Now, Tuda is a different beast. They're German, and like Proton, they publish a regular transparency report. In 2019 and 2020, Tuda received court orders in Germany forcing them to monitor email metadata for specific users under criminal investigation. They challenged these requests and had some legal wins, but it showed that even in Europe, legal pressure can still knock. That said, like Proton, their encryption model held strong. No encrypted message content was ever accessed or disclosed. Their radical openness, publishing change logs, GitHub activity, even form replies, builds community trust. And yes, they also run on 100% renewable energy. Doesn't really affect your privacy, but it's nice to see that they care about the planet. This one's too close to call. Proton has reach and resources. Tuda has raw transparency and grassroots credibility. Both walk the walk, and this round has to be a draw. All right, time to call it. Proton Mail versus Tutanota. 
Both are strong contenders in the privacy-first email game, but only one comes out ahead when the rounds are stacked up. Let's break it down. Tuda is a security beast with innovative encryption and the best transparency you'll ever get from an email provider, but it's just too bare bones. Proton Mail, on the other hand, gave us a polished experience, premium design, and an entire encrypted suite with Drive, VPN, Calendar, and more. It's the most feature-complete private email service out there today. And if you're looking to replace Gmail with something that feels just as good to use and more secure, it's a strong option. Now it's your turn. Are you Team Tutanota, Team Proton, or do you use something else entirely? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, go ahead and tap that encrypted bell so you never miss a video.